Hi, I'm Sneha Sebastian and I'm a fresher. I was enrolled in a timed classroom program for two years, but I actually started preparing for CAT when my second year exams ended in March. So my preparation time started from April. Now I went to the, I went through the basic course material in order to cover my basics and I also attended almost every class. I knew my weak point was especially in the third section, the quantitative section. So I made sure to brush up almost every single on every single problem in every book that time could provide. This was really helpful and along the way I made a book of uh, I made a small notebook where I would write down all the formulae, I'd write down any set of patterns that I would notice in a question, any quick help solutions provided by the professors and stuff like that. So that helped me immensely and then immediately from May onwards I started taking mock tests which helped me identify my weaknesses. So my weakness was something along the lines of geometry, coordinate geometry. And I made sure I would resolve my doubts with the professors. They were very welcoming and any doubts I had were quickly solved by then. This helped me build a strong foundation. One of the most important things I did was solving mocks continuously. I would take a mock and irrespective of the percentile I scored, I used to score a variety. I would be sometimes 80 percentile, sometimes I'd have a 98. But it didn't bother me and every time I analyzed it properly, I would go I would go see where I was wrong, where I could improve on, the silly mistakes that I would do. Now since I had college also, I would just do it in the evening and it would take me about four to five days to completely analyze the mock test. Another thing is the mock tests actually provide a really good framework for the actual CAT questions. In fact, let me tell you, the day before I went for my CAT exam, I saw another mock test and the exact same question from a mock came in my uh, came in the paper which helped me immensely and maybe just boosted my percentile to maybe 5-6 points above. So that was good. Before the exam, I decided to take it easier on myself. I, even though I solved mocks, I didn't put any pressure on myself that I have to perform, that I have to solve so many questions within this time frame. I took it easy and basically just went over my uh, went over my fundamentals once more. I would add, I would religiously study my notes and revise all the formulae just to make sure that I wouldn't suddenly forget it in the exam or globe. I started my interview preparation as soon as I uh, as soon as I started getting calls. One important thing I did was reading the newspaper every day. So I would read the Economic Times and the Indian Express. I would also subscribe to the Economist and just brush up on current affairs. Now the thing, so I knew there was a chance that even after reading so much, I might just forget about something that happened. So the thing I did is I would keep a notebook with me all the time, every day. And whatever important news, maybe some important statistics, some article I found really good, I would just scribble it down in my notebook, make rough notes. And that helped me immensely. I would study it religiously before every interview I went. I would also, since I'm from an economics and statistics background, I would write down any economic concepts, maybe just brush over all the chapters in my in macroeconomics, microeconomics, international, and also brush up on the formulae and stats, the graphs used. One another thing that helped me was the mock interviews. Initially, when I gave my mock interview, I was really nervous, it's really tense. But they helped instill a sense of confidence in me and when I went for my actual interview, so I was very calm, I was very relaxed. I thought my interview would be um, restricted to my core subjects, economics and statistics. But in a lot of interviews, what happened was that they went through my mark sheets and they started asking me questions from my secondary subjects. Thankfully, I was able to deflect them, maybe answer them in detail. But that's one thing that you should always keep in mind. I went through every single subject that I had, irrespective of whether I thought it was important in my semester or not.